What is an excision? What is gazette? Which one is safe to buy? In today's video, I'll be sharing everything that you need to know about an excision, gazette, and the different terms that are related to these two words. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Tosia Motor Show, and on my channel, I share real estate law and business law tips in easy to understand language with no legal jargon. Do well to subscribe and to like this video. Let's get started. What exactly is an excision? Now, when land has been acquired by the government and then the original owners of that land apply to the government to excise it back to them. And exciting means to release back some part of that land that was compulsorily acquired. That is called an excision and that is what an excision means. So the land had formerly been acquired by the government and now it's been released back to the original owners who could be a community or a family now that presupposes that there has been a compulsory acquisition of land before the excision then happens now let's talk about compulsory acquisition this will help us to set the background for this video what conditions are laid down to make it legal you have to note that the land use act regulates how land is administered and although it gives power to the governor to administer land, it does not mean that power can be used just anyhow. There is a way to go about it. So if land is going to be acquired, there are steps that the law expressly laid down that must be followed. Now, the first is that acquisition of land must be for public purposes. We've had a lot of cases where land was acquired and used for other purposes apart from public purposes. And the court held that it was illegal all right it was illegal there's there's this recent case of um, the magodo estate where the the legal state government acquired land and then was selling it to private people it wasn't using it for any public purposes that was why the original landowners went back to court to contest that as acquisition and they won based on that because it wasn't done according to the law so it must be for public purposes very important now the second is that notice must be given those people whose land is going are going to be acquired must be given sufficient notice they must be notified of the fact that their land is being acquired the law expressly states the format that the notice must follow and compensation must be paid or they must be resettled somewhere else all right compensation must be paid or they must be resettled somewhere else that is what the land use act says about compulsory acquisition of land now when you now apply for acquisition it means the government has acquired some land belonging to a, a community or a family and is using it for public purposes and he wants some part of the land back maybe they're not using all the land or whatever reason for whatever reason you want to apply for it to be given back now it is usually applied for and it can take a long while you can see um on the screen an example of what a gazette looks like so every excision that is done by the government is published in a gazette you could call the gazette like um the government's newspaper yes you could call it that so it is where it is um when it, when it, an excision has been applied for and it's been granted it is published in a gazette and it is usually granted to a community or a family it is not granted to an individual now when a, an excision is granted it is published in a gazette with the name of the family or the community as it were it is being released to and the coordinates so the coordinates you could call coordinates like um identification number all right and every land all over the world has a unique coordinate that is unique to them that's the field of um, surveyors. So they are able to determine the exact location of the land with the coordinates. All right. So in the excision, the land that has been excised back in the gazette is sufficiently identified through the coordinates. Now that we have talked about excision, compulsory acquisition, what should you do? When you've been told that you want to buy property and you've been told that that land, the title they have is excision. First is that. You have to confirm that that excision has been granted. So I have seen a lot of cases where you see people saying an excision, the title they have is excision in progress, excision in view, and all those stuff. It has to be granted. 
all right and when an extension is granted is published in the gazette that's proof that it's been granted so you have to confirm that the extension has been granted and also you need to do your due diligence all right you need a lawyer you need a surveyor who would confirm the exact location of that land you want to buy as falling within the land covered by the gazette this is important because we've had cases where people will take a gazette and sell land that is not covered by that gazette which is which is very very risky so you need to engage a lawyer who would do the necessary due diligence and a survey or two will carry out the due diligence on the location of the property all right now another thing is if you're buying land and you're buying directly from the family the, or the community the property was excised to you have to make sure you get that local intelligence to be sure you are actually buying from the accredited representatives of either the family or the community so you don't want to buy from people who were not authorized by that community to sell if you are buying from like um maybe a second or third person who bought from the community um this also suffices all right so you have to gather good local intel local intel means local intelligence gathering you want to find out information and be sure in the community this and this um person is the one who's been authorized to deal in land to sell land on behalf of the family or the community so that is what we have today on extensions extension in progress and gazette i hope this has been helpful do well remember to subscribe to get more videos like this and if you have any questions just type them in the comment section below i will be glad to answer them thank you